Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's address the elephant in the room. I've been gone for a while, but I have noticed that my subscriber count has grown since the last video that I posted about a month and a half ago, I believe. For those of you who are newly joining me, welcome to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. My name is Elise, and thank you for being here. I really, really do appreciate it. So before I get into the video, I didn't feel it would be fair for me to just go on about my video and not tell you guys why I've been gone. For those of you who have been subscribed to me and have been wondering where I've been. The reason for my absence is because I was really focusing on the end of school. I wanted to finish off very strong. Finally going to be graduating my college and I'm so excited. I'm so blessed and honestly I'm so 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 proud of myself that I am accomplishing this milestone in my life. And for those of you that are going to be graduating, hold on this cat is about to fall off my head so I'm about to take this thing off. Okay that's much better. I am going to be bringing you guys this graduation makeup tutorial. I really really love how this look turned out. It's obviously very bold with the bold lip but it's very neutral on the eye area it's beautiful with the lashes honestly I'm serving you beach face for graduation honey okay okay so with all of that being said if you want to see how to get this makeup look for your graduation day then go ahead and keep on watching <sighs> so let's get started shall we so I'm going to do things a little bit differently today where I normally start with my eyes and I do all that jazz up here before I go in with the rest of my face. I'm going to reverse the process today and I'm going to start off with my skin today. I know that whatever I'm going to do on the eyes is not going to be too intense because I really don't think I would go for something like that on graduation. Anyways, I want to keep this look as realistic as possible and I definitely want to do something that even the day that I graduate next month I can kind of look back at this video and follow along with whatever I did because I'm sure that whatever I do today I will definitely be doing on the actual day of my graduation. So I'm gonna start off with the face, just really focusing on it. I got some gnarly breakouts right here, so I wanna make sure that I cover those up really well. Already moisturized my skin. What I'm gonna do now is just jump into primer. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. This primer is very, very lightweight, and it's super comfortable, but it also does a great job at providing a nice base for my foundation. But I'm just gonna put a very generous amount on this part of my face here and kind of just push the product into my skin. Foundation, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. I really have been loving this foundation a lot. It is a solid medium to full coverage foundation. I like it because it's matte without being that uncomfortable, really dry looking matte, you know what I mean? That emphasizes texture sometimes, as much as I do love my matte foundations because I am oily combination. Sometimes I feel like when it's too matte, it almost emphasizes my texture. And if you don't know me, I really do struggle with the texture of my skin. I'm constantly breaking out. I really do deal with pretty cystic acne for a majority of time. I mean, you can kind of see I'm going through a breakout moment right now. It's just kind of my life. It's kind of what I have to go through all the time. So this one, I love it because it's matte without being drying. It is known to be a comfort matte. It's very long wearing and it's absolutely beautiful on the skin. I'm going to put a couple dots on my face here and then what I'm going to do is actually something that I used to do such a long time ago and I stopped doing it for a while. It's more of a technique. You just take a flat foundation brush like this one and what you just do is you just start to push the product into your skin and kind of just spread it out. What this does is it just gives you a more thin layer of foundation. Sometimes what happens is you just go in with your foundation like this and then from there you just start using your beauty blender or whatever you want to use. And it just creates kind of like a thicker layer. So this definitely does help spread the layer of foundation out so that when you do go in to blend it, it's a lot more thin. Go in with my beauty sponge by Real Techniques and I'm going to blend that in. I'm going to do probably about three layers of this foundation with that same technique that I just did. So now that I'm done with foundation, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move into the eyes. I'm not gonna apply my concealer now because I would rather do that after I have the eye makeup done. I'm kinda going all over the place, but it kinda, it'll all tie together at the end, I promise. All right, wait for it, okay? It's all going to tie together, girl, okay? I'm going to prime my eyelids with this Laura Mercier Eye Basics eyeshadow primer. It definitely has like a dry concealer type of formula. Because it has that drier formula, you probably wouldn't need to set it, but me being somebody with oily eyelids, I set everything um, just to make sure that it doesn't move and it doesn't crease on my eyes. I'm about to have no eyeshadow, no nothing, trying to play me, making me look all crazy walking that stage. For my palette of choice today, I'm going to go in with the Morphe 350M. This is the 350 with the matte version. Knowing me, I'm going to do a shimmer of some sort on the eyes, but I just love matte eyeshadows for the most part. So I'm just going to grab this shade right here and I'm just going to start off by using this to just set that concealer in place.
I'm gonna grab a mix of these two shades right here use them to really buff them in my crease and windshield wiper motions and I'm using a Morphe M505 for this To add a little bit more darkness and depth to the eye look, I'm just going to grab this brown right here. This is just like a medium brown and I'm taking the Luxie 229 Tapered Blending Brush. It's a little bit more precise and it's really going to get into my crease and not be as diffuse as these other colors are. You guys, believe it or not, that's pretty much all that I'm going to do with the eyes as far as the Morphe palette goes. I'm just going to grab this color right here. This is the Mary Luminizer Highlighter. And I'm literally going to take my fingers, you guys, and I'm just going to dab a little bit of this color in the center of my eyelid just to give it a little bit more brightness. That is a beautiful part of makeup. There are absolutely no rules. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise, okay? You can definitely do whatever you got to do when it comes to makeup. I don't give a damn that this is a highlighter. So I'm going to skip eyeliner because I ain't got time for that right now. And quite frankly, I'm not like a huge wing liner type of person. Believe it or not, don't crucify me. I just don't care for it, to be honest. Next up is actually going to be lashes. I hate to do this to you guys. I really, really do. But at the same time, I'd be lying if I told you I probably wouldn't use these because I probably am. This is the collab that Makeup Shayla did with Flutter Lashes. And these lashes are one of my absolute favorite lashes. I hate that they're limited edition and, and they no longer sell these. There's just that beautiful in-between lash. They're not so heavy. They're not super light way either however at the same time if I wasn't gonna use this lash I would use the Ardell glamour wispies because those are also one of my favorite lashes but I don't have any right now so unless I get some of those before my graduation I'm definitely gonna wear these most likely finish off with the eyelashes what I'm going to do is some tart shape tape and just conceal and highlight the under eye part of my eyes To set the concealer, it is no surprise if you watch my videos, I'm going to be using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is my absolute favorite um, loose setting powder, so I'm going to use a little bit of that. Whether your graduation is outside in the hot climate or whatever, it's inside, you just never know. You always want to make sure that everything is set into place so that nothing moves. None of this makeup tries you and tries your patience, girl. You want to make sure that everything is nice and set into place. I'm going to run a little bit of black eyeliner on my waterline. You can absolutely use white if you would like to. White or nude might actually be a better idea just because that's known to really brighten up your eyes and make them look a lot bigger which photographs a lot better but because I want to throw a little bit of this brown on my waterline I really want to use this black to just really help smoke that out a little bit I'm use a little bit of this brown that I used earlier the Kat Von D shade and light contour kit I'm gonna take this shade right here I'm gonna use this to just kind of carve out my cheekbones but at the same time to bronze. So for blush, I'm going to grab this one right here by City Color, and this is a matte blush. This is in the shade Papaya. It is a beautiful peachy matte blush. It's very long wearing, and it's very pigmented as well. You see, didn't I tell y'all this is so pigmented? So I'm going to grab the Mary Luminizer again, and this time I'm going to use it as a highlight. And just put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. So for my last step here, what I'm going to do is the lips, obviously. I'm going to grab a little bit of this Georgiana Lip Liner in the shade Tawny. Pretty sure I want to do a red lip. And for lips, I'm doing a liquid lipstick because that is definitely going to be the way to go for me. Whether or not I choose this color, which I'm pretty sure I will, but if for whatever reason I don't, I'm still going to do a liquid lip. I will never forget, I wore a glossy lip for I think it was my high school graduation, and I was constantly like doing one of these. <sighs> 
because like the tassel was constantly falling on my lips and sticking on my lips and then like you'd have the gloss all over my face because it was just like the tassel was rubbing against my face which had gloss on it it was a hot mess express so because of that I don't think I'll ever ever wear a gloss on my graduation date again so I'm gonna use this one by Ofra this is in the shade Venice this is just a really beautiful bright red shade you can definitely do a deeper red you can do a muted red you can do a hot fire red this is definitely a hot fire red um, and I just feel like this is the most appropriate one especially being that it's like springtime already or so we think it's springtime It's such a beautiful warm red and I just absolutely love it. I love colors like this especially because they photograph very well. They make your makeup look really great and on top of that they make your teeth look really white too which mama appreciates. The last thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put on some setting spray. This is an absolute must okay you have to do the step no matter what no if and or buts I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear you telling me that you don't believe in setting sprays girl you better believe in them today let me tell you and your makeup is looking a hot mess on a hot spring Sunday the day you're graduating you are going to regret not wearing a setting spray believe me I've been through many trials and tribulations of graduations and I know what I'm telling you okay because this makeup is going to sit pretty for the rest of the night in the name of the Lord Amen. So you guys, that is going to complete this makeup tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it, you found it helpful, and you took some tips and tricks along the way so that you can achieve your desired look for graduation. And congratulations on your graduation this year. You rock, you're amazing, and you're gonna kill it in your next chapter of your life. Walk that line with pride, girl. Rock it with a beat face, honey, because guess what? 2018 is the year of the stars. I'm just saying. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.